I think it's amazing that something so elegant, so graceful, can have such enduring practical utility. The wind blows and electricity flows. No import of fossil fuels, no carbon dioxide, no nuclear waste, no fracking. And if that was all that it delivered in terms of benefits, that would be impressive enough. But with community scale generation, there's the opportunity to keep more of the benefits local. My name's Danny Hall and I run Rogers Hill Farm, uh, our family farm. We're a mixed, mixed farm, mixed beef and arable. We also um, have some farm business units and I also run a, a motocross track. I'm the fourth generation um, of the Hall family at Rogers Hill. I, I'm the only full-time employee but I do employ part-time help. The biggest risks um, appear to be global, um, global prices you can spend. Um, a large proportion of your income growing a crop and by the time that crop actually come to the point of sale uh, your anticipated price kind of plummeted. Having the security of knowing the turbine is here means that we know in a bad year we can still get by. We've been approached by some, some larger firms just sort of knew that they wouldn't be probably wouldn't be what the local community wanted, whereas Disgen seemed to be genuine people. It's just nice dealing with a small company where you know first name terms, the bulk of their staff, and you know that if you have got a problem, there's there's sort of a real person to talk to. But since it's actually been erected, um, I would say the bulk of people um, have feel that it actually enhances the landscape as opposed to detracts from it. My name's Alec Armitage and I live at Throop, which is about a mile away from here. And I've come just because I'm interested to learn about how the wind turbine works. Oh, I think it's fantastic. Harnessing the wind uh, is, is, is permanently available. I think it's the way forward. My name's John. My name's Ebony. And we're both from Bear Regis, and uh, which is the village just over the other side of the hill. We were both involved actually um, in all the meetings. The people that put up the wind turbine did a very good job of letting us know, giving us a chance to speak to them, answering questions. The Regis Paris Council have received uh, something like £10,000 um, already in the two years that it's been operating. £10,000 is an awful lot of money for, for the Paris Council to have been paid uh, for just having a wind turbine in their neighbourhood. We have a neighbourhood car scheme in the parish and maybe some funding could be sent from the turbine towards that. My name is Pauline Saywell and I'm a volunteer driver. The financial support that we have received from Disgen has greatly helped towards the neighbour car scheme here in Beer Regis. The most rewarding aspect is meeting someone that is lonely, hasn't been out, and you feel that you've really done something to help their day. My name is uh, Doris Foot. With the scheme, it just helps me to get a boat. They're the only transport, really, because there's, there's nothing else. They're very good. And they take you right to where you've got to go and bring you back, you know, it's, it's good. Beer Regis Neighbour Cars supports a vital link in our community. People not to feel isolated or a burden. It, it's worth it to me because I really enjoy it. At this chain we feel privileged to be doing a job that to us has real meaning, a mission of genuine worth. And your investment will allow us to develop more projects just like this one.